In these tanks, Brian Meaden is preparing one of his very own concoctions, a craft beer made with chickpeas, dates, and buckwheat. Working in his brewery in northern Israel, he has one main objective, to produce gluten-free beer. His slogan, gluten intolerance, is the only intolerance we tolerate. I was brewing at, on my own, just at home, just to see and learning how to do it, learning how to do gluten-free beer, um, learning how to work with buckwheat. And, um, and then we went to uh, this other brewery and they started brewing for us and we realized that there's a market out there. The microbrew movement taking hold in many countries is being embraced in Israel as well. Craft beer consumption is on the rise, with some 32 craft beer breweries as of 2014, 5% of the market, a particularly niche operation producing local gluten-free beer with a regional twist. Nine years ago, David Cohen opened Dancing Camel, a bar also producing its own beer. It's fantastic, I mean, personally, personally, um, I didn't know when I opened the brewery how, how gratifying it would be to be sitting in, in a movement. Far from traditional beer made with wheat and barley, craft beer is often unfiltered and unpasteurized, giving it a very peculiar and powerful taste. I also brew beer at home. I buy all the supplies and I brew my own beer while doing some experimenting. Sometimes it comes out good and sometimes not so much, but that's the beauty of it all. Purists would not classify certain of these brews as beers in the classical sense, but with ingredients like date honey or juniper berries, the curiosity factor makes it often hard to resist.